This is The Three Archangels with Tobias by Francesco Baraccini. Uh, this painting tells the biblical story of the Book of Tobit. Um, the Book of Tobit isn't included in all translations of the Bible, but it is part of the Catholic canon. Um, the central figures are Raphael and Tobias, and then on either side we have Michael and Gabriel. In the story, a disguised Raphael comes to the aid of old, blind, faithful Tobit. Uh, he had fallen on hard times, lost his sight, he was out of money, and Raphael shows up to help Tobias on a journey to go retrieve some silver for Tobit. Um, Raphael is the patron of travelers, um, but he's also the patron of good marriages, and it's really a beautiful story um, of Raphael helping Tobias uh, find the silver, but also to introduce Tobias to Sarah and help them to have a happy God-centered marriage. It was painted in 18, or, I'm sorry, it was painted in 1470. And if you kind of zoom in a little bit here um, on these figures, it really looks like an early Renaissance painting. It's heavily inspired by the idealized bodies of the Greeks. Botticini wanted to show the classical grace and beauty of the human form. Um, his angels have human bodies, but they are so mighty and huge that Tobias, who was a grown man, looks like a child in comparison. They also have these huge, powerful wings, each with different types of feathers. And I'm not sure the meaning of Michael and Gabriel, but I do know Raphael's peacock feathers. We see peacock feathers as a symbol of immortality in the ancient world. It's used by Christians as a symbol um, for heaven and the eye of God. When Raphael reveals his identity, he says, I am the angel Raphael, one of seven that stand before the Lord. And Gabriel says a similar thing to Zechariah when he's um, revealing um, Elizabeth's pregnancy. He says, I am Gabriel that stands before God. And this idea of standing before the Lord, we can almost see it in their beautiful faces. They have an interior strength, a calm solemnity about them, as if they really are perpetually standing in God's presence and reflecting um, a little bit of that beauty. They look graceful, as if they're moving together, their garments flowing, um, otherworldly. It's easy to imagine that they're moving to music. Tobias, in this moment, is heading home to his father, carrying the fish that was used to drive away the evil spirit, and Raphael is holding a jar of medicinal fish gall to cure Tobit's blindness. This story really popularized um, the symbol of the fish for Christ in early Christian art and theology. He sends a little dog ahead to tell Tobit that they are near, and you can see the little dog in the painting. On the right, Gabriel is holding a lily, perhaps to symbolize the Virgin Mary and his upcoming visit to her, and Michael is on the left holding his sword, ready to defend us in battle. Tobias is very lightly holding Raphael's hand, allowing the angel to guide him with complete trust. The reality of angels is testified all through the Bible. This painting reminds us that God has given us angels, our guardian angels and the archangels, to guide, help, love, and inspire us, and ultimately to draw us closer to God.